Yep. <laughs> okay, welcome everyone. Uh, well, I, I would say that uh, just to make this ha day happen was uh, has been an adventure for us. Uh, when we realized that this year would be our 10th year anniversary, we said, oh, we need to celebrate because uh, it has not been, uh, we were not sure all the time that we would come so far and we have worked very, very hard to be here today. But it has definitely been extremely fun and, and with the, the platform we have now is uh, really uh, good times, I must say. So uh, 10 years is definitely something to celebrate. Uh, people are uh, you, it's a very good mix of people. We have carefully selected the one, two person from, from different uh, few customers around. So uh, we would like to, because we are working in different value chains for you, for us, we are working as plastic experts, going from petrochemicals and all over to the end users. So, for, so we are into a lot of different businesses. So uh, here today, you will meet people uh, uh, from many different sectors. So uh, so I hope that you, we, we, we didn't want to have a too big uh, range either because I think it's very nice to be uh, fewer people and it's a kind of a, I would say it's a kind of a friends and family gathering so so uh, I hope that it will co be cozy small and that you will get the chance to meet the, the, and talk to people we will we try to keep your name badge because then uh, people would remember your name <laughs> starting to be now I soon approaching 50 so uh, very soon so uh, need to remember uh, good to have a note Yes, so I think today we have people from different parts of the world, uh, also very good customers which are more in, in this region. So um, so that's very nice. You, you figure out, you have the list of the people here. So uh, I promised Ulea not to talk myself uh, away for too long. It's so much nice things to talk about. I will be not, not technical. Uh, you will have technical thing. Uh, we have uh, our names is from the Norse goddess of uh, destiny. The Norns are representing the past, the present, and the future. So it fits very well to have a kind of an introduction based on that. So I will take you through, through these three aspects uh, very briefly. Uh, this is the past. Actually, this is our machinery hall. Uh, around 40 years, because we don't even we don't only have 10 years birthday today, but to get rid of nails, we we have actually we have actually 40 years birthday. It's uh, the technical center was started up in 1977, and uh, and uh, many of the people that are still in in uh, Norner in nails Norward is not maybe from 77 any longer, but but still uh, <laughs> go way back to this time. Uh, I don't know if he has still has some of the machinery, but Ulian told me that that's at least uh, the film line is still uh, running. Uh, not this one. Not this one. No, no. Okay, <laughs> so it's too old. It's too old. But at least this uh, brings us back to our history. And um, of course, it was uh, part of a big company uh, for a while, part of Statel. Everything feels safe, uh, a lot of good, good pensions, good salary, uh, things were building up, easy days, I would say. And of course, and then, for many of us, it was the big bang, I must say. I must admit that it was a shock. Uh, uh, for us to to really uh, start to understand that uh, we were suddenly left alone, <laughs> and that, <laughs> that we were kicked out of uh, Borealis. Uh, luckily, we had a good uh, connection with the top management and uh, found a way out of that, but uh, it was really a very special feeling to be there in the plenary session and tell everybody uh, <laughs> that uh, uh, let's maybe start a company together. Let's spend a month to do a market study and see, is it possible to make a company out of ourselves, 80 people, 6,000 square meters, technical equipment. And then uh, we started with the whole organization, lists of ideas on what we could sell. <laughs> and uh, we said, yeah, let's go for it. So uh, after that, it has been really a good adventure. So, but of course, to have this type of burning platform creates a good team, good team spirit, and a lot of energy, a lot of energy. I feel still we have that. So that was actually, <laughs> that was in uh, 2007, in the same machinery hall, now in colors, because the past was black and white. Uh, and uh, that was the gang from, from that time. And I, I think that we managed to build up a lot of enthusiasm, a little bit scared, but also it was uh, a great fun. 
So, uh, and we had a big uh, celebration when we started out. So we said, Let, let's have a celebration also this year now. That's important. Um, so what did we do? We had to start to make plans. We need to make a dream. And of course, at that time, our dream was to have a, to make a company which everybody should think it would, should be room for everybody. We should grow. We should, should give innovation service around in the world. We wanted to be international. So we started to draw kind of the picture. But of course, it takes time to build up in, in innovation business. You, I mean, we have been working with many of you, but uh, as you know, it takes maybe sometimes two years to discuss a project before you kind of uh, start really to, to, to uh, that the project starts off. So, uh, so it's a time consuming business. So we had to take it step by step. Uh, and that needs patient owner too. So we had the patient owner because it was really t uh, also tough. But uh, that's how we build, build up. And uh, that's why we also are here today. So actually, this was from, from last year. We had the big team building, making our new future vision. I'll come back to that. But uh, also some new people. We have started to hire a lot of new people now, five only now after Christmas. So building up the new team, uh, it's also very nice to come to that phase that you can start to hire people. And of course, we have a lot of seniority, so we need also some, some younger people. So uh, <laughs> that's uh, also something we do now. Um, so, about the present, uh, well, we are today 57 employees, uh, we're starting to build up now, we were a little bit uh, like around 50 and then now we start to hire people, quite much we have had managed to have a growth on that <laughs> business turnover from every year we have been working, we have only measure new volume from new customers. Uh, around 10% every year, we have starting to build our new own technology portfolio. Uh, because we also want to do some licensing. We see that it's important to have more than only R&D business because that's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's more a break-even business. And then uh, we are working with customers all over the world. That's very fun. That's, uh, that's a, the most rewarding part of my job, I would say, because I meet so much nice people around. Uh, and that's, uh, that's very good for innovation with this mix. Um, so, um, so this is, yeah, there's some figures too. Uh, and we got also, we have also now new owners. They are also represented here with, <laughs> with Suracha, which is the CTO in uh, the Chem Chemical, which is owning us now. It's from their headquarters in Bangkok. Uh, been very, very good with the new ownership because uh, uh, we were having a workshop together in <laughs> and discuss who would we like to new, as a new owner? Because we had private equity owner, and, and yeah, let's, we should have industrial owner. And who would we like to have as owners? And SG was on the top of our list. Uh, we have been working together with them for a long time, and we knew they were very strong on innovation, very forward leaning, uh, accepted very much that we still would like to be an independent company. Uh, and uh, so we went to them <laughs> and, and said, oh, why don't you buy us? <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, Suracha has uh, had some job to convince the uh, top board there that it should buy a small company away in Norway, but it has been very successful. We are working uh, together with them as a big client and uh, we get also our investments, uh, which is very, very important for the growth of the company, which, which we can also then share with all the other uh, our customers. So that's very good. So, uh, been very successful. I have not heard a single complaint from anybody in Norner that this is not good. So, so, uh, so they are here today, so you can you can check with them if they also are, uh, do agree. <laughs> so, uh, of course, we work in our value chain, which is the petrochemical plastic value chain. Um, I just show it, many of you also know that very well, but I think that the, the point is that we go from upstream oil and gas to uh, petrochemical production of raw materials to the converter industry and a lot on the end use. That's a lot of end user shares today because end use of plastic is, is quite many sectors actually. Uh, and we have picked out a few. Um, and with the, in this area, we do research, we do development, we do testing, and we do consultancy. But I've added, as you see, I added the uh, recycle streams because more and more we are now working with recycled mat material, depolymerization of materials, and biofeed. Uh, in this area, we also want to grow. 
uh, it's an extremely rewarding area to work in and it's very many important projects to be done in this sector. So uh, we have some very good projects with um, some of you and this is the area we also want to invest to grow. It's very, very fun. And here we are, uh, and we have to walk the talk. So we are <laughs> here. We are picking up garbage out at the beach, in uh, a local beach. So in the beach cleaning day. So we had that last year and this year. <laughs> so uh, and since we are plastic uh, engineers, we are also sorting it out and studying what is coming. And yeah. So uh, but we also have proper projects on marine littering. So uh, but it's very important to to do this uh, type of activity, and and, and it's fun. It's it's a good for the team and it's fun. So this is the sectors that we have said uh, we want to uh, to work in, and uh, and that we also want to be uh, to be worldwide uh, working in. I mean, we don't want only want to work in Norway. Uh, consumables for us, I would say, is a very broad sector. So <laughs> include uh, <laughs> include a broad number of type of clients uh, because we need to make it sim simplify. But this is the this, this is the areas. Um, then in the future, we said we, we had to make a new strategy because we kind of uh, we see that we have we have managed to our goal. We had an owner, we had a turnover, we had secured the business. Last year we earned money, so we kind of that was okay. <laughs> so we had to say what's next, and uh, and then we we worked with this uh, visionary um, thinking that we needed to have a leading star, and for us it's to be the polymer explorers. So this is our vision for the future. That means that we want to strengthen our position as a global leader in uh, industrial R&D service on polymers. So it's kind of telling what we want to do. Um, industrial is an important word for us because there we see, now we have been traveling so much around in the world and we don't really find this type of industrial competence uh, in the institute sector or any <laughs> many places <laughs> really. So uh, that is very important for us. And we want to also work then very much with sustainable solutions. And that's also a part of our long-term target now to grow the sector with sustainable solutions. So that's our direction. Uh, since we are selling our competence, we need to make sure we are not commodity. So uh, we also made a technology strategy and uh, saying that in these areas, we see that uh, we, we need to be good at these areas to serve our clients in the future. Polyolefins is of course an important area, but also advanced polymer composites like nanopolymers, different mix of polymers, very, very important area coming up now. It's also linked to the green and sustainable, which we also want to be strong. That means that we invest in equipment, we invest in competence, we want to have competence building project in these, these areas. So I think that I was about all, yeah, I have still five minutes, Ulan. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this is uh, our. So we have a. Okay, this is uh, simplified. We have a long list. So believe me, we have a very long list on how we are working with the sector segments, uh, strategies. But uh, it's important to have the direction uh, and follow the direction. And we have our. We are going to move into brand new buildings. Uh, we will not own them, but we will rent. So this is um, the last picture <laughs> I have of the powerhouse in Porskren. We will have two of this floor. It's a very unique house. I the first one in the world, it will also contain labs. The power concept means that it will produce power over its lifetime. It's a very advanced house. Uh, and uh, Snöhetta is the architect, which is a very famous Norwegian architect, which is also working worldwide. It's an extremely cool house. It's a, it's a very um, innovative project. And Tour will tell uh, about that project later on. But for me, it's also important. And we are also now working together with uh, uh, both our competence, our own competence, to see how can we uh, improve the sustainability solutions in that house even further. Can we, because we have to calculate bond energy in the materials, and can we also contribute? So it's a very exciting project to be part of. Hopefully it's ready uh, Q1 2019. So yeah, <laughs> but that's quite quick. It's very experimental, but uh, it fitted our philosophy very much. 
and uh, and we also will build uh, just beside uh, we don't have this beautiful picture of that yet but uh, but it's just by the river there we will be, be build a huge 3000 square meter of technical uh, center it will be a european test center where we also will invite partners to work with us and we will do a lot of, a lot of reinvestment in new equipment and uh, and uh, will be pilots. It will be uh, it will be uh, long-term testing equipment. Uh, a lot of new nice investment will come in. I think it will be very very nice. So uh, it's a lot of work now to design everything inside this building. I must admit, but uh, it will be worth it. And that should also be finished around one and a half year from now. So let's see. <laughs> it's good. That's that's a little bit quick, but but we will at least. That's a and invest in our future. We invest in new people, so we are kind of on building a platform so we can grow. We don't intend that Norner should be thousand people, but maybe we we should maybe grow a little bit to be more robust. But uh, we we like to be lean and small. That's actually very fun to work in a small company where you can do quick decisions. So I think that that was about uh, our future, which is, uh, I must say, I, I must admit that, of course, even uh, if you have had some very tough years, of course, these type of things, it gives a lot of positive energy. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's really uh, enjoyable days. So today um, we will celebrate. Uh, and tomorrow, oh, oh, too, yeah, but today is more celebration. Uh, so, um, since Uli Jan said we couldn't send out an invitation that said a midsummer party, uh, because that was not serious enough, but actually it's a midsummer party uh, tonight, but we call it industrial seminar. So, uh, but, that <laughs> but I think that we will have a lot of, uh <laughs> a lot of nice, uh, Lectures from very very different character today. So I'm really looking forward to listen to all of you. And then, uh, if I didn't forget to say anything, I would just then uh, wish you welcome to our birthday uh, two days birthday party. Thank you. <laughs>